Hi friends, welcome back again for this lovely session of poem. As this is not going to be a detailed study, this is going to be a reading for pleasure. Let's have this session in a very happy way, in a very joyful manner. Just discuss few things. Let us not go very detailed into it. Okay. It's just for happiness. And it's not going to reflect in your examinations as I told you before. As I told you an introduction that we are going to see about a poem. The poem's name is A River. Written by A.K. Ramanujan. Before entering into the summary of the poem, I would like to give you just few ideas about A.K. Ramanujan. A.K. Ramanujan was a poet, translator, folklorist and philologist. Most of his poems were thematic and formal engagement with modernistic transnationalism. Uh, like uh, very clearly I would like to tell you what it is. Most of his poems were based on the theme about the nation's welfare how it was, how it was neglected or how it was taken care. Hope you have understood the meaning of modern, modernistic transnationalism. I would like to mention here about the awards what he received. The collected poems written by A.K. Ramanujan received Sahitya Academy Award and one more award received was MacArthur Fellowship. Now, shall we see the central theme of the poem? It is a story like thing. It does not evoke any happiness in you. The whole plot is based on the uh, misery, the grief faced by the people because of the flood. Shall we see the central theme now? Yeah. The river poem written by A.K. Ramanujan describes how the poets of the past and the present have romanticized the river in Madurai actually. But they have not written about the flood and the grief, the misery, the problem faced by the people. The poem actually begins with the speaker stating that every year every poet sings the same songs about sometimes flooding, sometimes empty riverbed. When it is empty, all its hidden items are exposed. The poets have always sung about this period and the other in which the flood happens. They don't get into the details of who is impacted. They have been talking about the flood. Some people, some poets have written about flood, of course, but no one has written about the people's trouble. No one has written about the people's problem which had been faced when the flood caused. The speaker actually relays the words of the citizens of that area as they describe what happened that year. What happened? Houses were washed away. There were two cows and a woman Actually, she thought she was pregnant, bearing twins, identical twins, maybe. 
they were taken by the flood so here the poet derides the old and the new poets for not caring enough to look deeper into their environments shall we go to the poem now yeah friends kindly listen to my pronunciation and enjoy and try to appreciate the way how the poem has been written okay in madurai city of temples and poets who sang of cities and temples every summer a river dries to a trickle in the sand bearing the sand ribs straw and women's hair clogging the water gates at the rusty bars under the bridges with patches of repair all over them the wet stones glistening like sleepy crocodiles shaven water buffaloes lounging in the sun the poets only sang of the floods he was there for a day when they had the floods people everywhere talked of the inches rising of the precise number of cobbled steps run over by the water rising on the bathing places and the way it carried off three village houses one pregnant woman and a couple of cows named gopi and brinda as usual the new poets still quoted the old poets but no one spoke in verse of the pregnant woman drowned with perhaps twins in her kicking at blank walls even before birth he said the river has water enough to be poetic about one leaf once a year it carries away in the first half hour three village houses a couple of cows named gopi and brinda and one pregnant woman expecting identical twins with no moles on their bodies with different colored diapers to tell them apart i would like to tell you the meaning of the poem because once you read some other poems you should be able to take the nectar of the poem that's why i would like to give you just an example of taking out the central theme of the poem okay in madurai city it's a city of temples and poets who sang of cities and temples every summer a river dries to a trickle in the sand the poets what do they do they sing of the cities and they sing about the temples in the madurai city and every summer what happens the river becomes very dry there won't be any water at all not even a single drop of water that's what the poet mentions with the word trickle bearing the sand ribs straw and women's hair once if the uh, dried place is seen what can you see there everything which is thrown in the river can can be seen right because the water is not there it would be lying down in the sand even women's hair right clogging the water gates at the rusty bars under the bridges with patches of repair all over them there is a bridge actually crossing the river like the water when it gets dried the bars of the bridge also would be seen the iron bars with which the bridge is constructed na that is also seen when the river, river gets dried and all the repairs because the water in the river would have uh, taken the paint and all when the water becomes dry there would be a repair in the bridge okay 
the wet stones glistening like sleepy crocodiles how are the stones there inside the river big big stones they look like sleepy crocodiles that means crocodiles sleeping shaven water buffalo is lounging in the sun how do the dry ones look like they look like buffaloes resting under the sun the poets only sang of the floods he was there for a day when they had the floods who the poet people everywhere talked of the inches rising of the precise number of cobbled steps run over by the water rising on the bathing places there would be a tension right each and every moment when the water rises when we had vardha cyclone when we had gaja cyclone how did we feel everywhere water the water was logging right the ground floor people those who lived in ground floor they all took the materials which all could be taken what did they do they took everything they came to the first floor and the people who resided in the first floor in apartments they gave food shelter and the people who did not get anything at all who did not have materials at all to cook because everything had been washed away they came to the terrace and they were actually expecting food packets just think it over once you close your eyes that particular picture would come into your eyes immediately you can understand this one people everywhere talked of the inches rising my god 1 inch 2 inches 5 inches of water has come up my goodness how is it going to dry what will happen to the materials there inside the house the people would be praying in agony of the precise number of cobbled steps run over by the water rising on the bathing places and the way it carried off three village houses you would have seen in your tvs many of the cattle many of the materials clothes even people were taken away by flood likewise it carried off three village houses one pregnant woman and a couple of cows named gopi and brinda as usual the new poets still quoted the old poets what does he say here actually the poets who come now the new ones they always talk about the river's beauty or maybe the flood flood also which had been written by the old poets but they have never mentioned about the problems faced by the people but no one spoke in words of the pregnant woman drowned she got drowned she was expecting twin twin babies with perhaps twins in her perhaps what what does it mean she had an idea that she may have twins kicking at blank walls even before birth he said the river has water enough to be poetic about only once a year and then it carries away in the first half hour three village houses see it may be very poetic to talk about the river you may write poems but once a year what happens the flood comes 
and it washes away everything bringing pain misery everything to the people who live there then what is the use of praising the river a couple of cows named gopi and brinda and one pregnant woman expecting identical twins with no moles on their bodies with different colored diapers to tell them apart actually she is imagining she has an idea that she may have identical twins in her womb not even having moles to differentiate them only different kinds of diapers with different kinds of diapers with different colored dresses only you can identify them it was an imagination of that pregnant woman hope you would have understood the poems meaning shall we see the glossary now trickle to flow in a thin gentle stream bearing uncovering ribs curved ridges straw dry stalks clogging blocking lounging relaxing precise exact cobbled paved with stones verse poetry moles marks on the body shall we see the poetic techniques employed in this poem yeah first of all let's see what is poetic techniques poetic techniques such as alliteration assonance consonance enjambment and metaphor are used to unify the text shall we see what alliteration is alliteration is the repetition of identical initial consonant sounds or closely associated syllables within a group of words okay what is assonance assonance is the effect created when two syllables in words that are close together have the same vowel sound but different consonants or same consonant but different vowels now what is consonance consonance is the recurrence of similar sounding consonants in close proximity the vowel sounds would be different in consonants shall we see few examples for the poetic techniques employed in this poem a river let's see for alliteration Allit for alliteration um if you see the line one pregnant woman and a couple of cows couple cows they both start with the sound k so that is an alliterated word okay couple and cows so you should try to understand what an alliteration is and then try to search more number of alliterated words okay let's go to assonance examples now seen and beat or cold and killed seen beat same sounds seen it may start with the sound is seen but the vowel sound is e it may start with the consonant sound b beat but the vowel sound is e seen beat but you you can see the difference here cold killed both the consonants are the same but the vowel sound is different here cold 
ka cold killed this is assonance shall we see few examples for uh, consonants yeah coming home hot food because it uh, talks about similar sounding consonants not the same consonants now let's go to enjambment we didn't see what enjambment is let's see about enjambment now enjambment is continuing a line after the line breaks you would have seen this enjambment in this poem right it ends a line in the middle of a phrase allowing it to continue on to the next line as an enjambed line enjambment is derived from the french phrase enjambment meaning to straddle something as the sentence extends to a next line metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or an action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison it equates two things not because they actually are the same but for the sake of comparison or symbolism see you would have seen about enjambment in this poem the lines were broken right and what are the metaphors applied in this poem the wet stones and the dry stones yes the word like is not applied directly there right the wet stones they look like sleeping crocodiles and the dry ones yeah very good like the shaven buffaloes very good because uh, you would have seen about metaphor simile and all in your pre previous classes right that's why you are able to understand that concept so you have been very patient in listening to the class all this time hope you enjoyed my class and i want you to appreciate such types of poems and try to write a poem on a own about a river or nature or water anything so that it would be easy for you to apply it in your forthcoming examinations friends as general english examinations or the question papers you are not going to be asked such a question at all this poem is meant for reading for pleasure enjoy the poem its poetic devices and the structure of the poem this will not reflect in your examinations try writing more such poems and increase your creativity okay so i would like to bid thank you